As we move into the spring semester, more and more students are making preparations for spring testing. Testing is an important part of the educational experience because it provides teachers and administrators with key information that helps them make sound decisions for the school. This helps them make decisions about student achievement, curriculum development, and program effectiveness. Educators agree that testing is important, but that is not the only thing they agree on. Educators also agree that providing an effective testing environment can be challenging. This is why the administration at Brookwood Middle School decided to take students who are not testing and involve them in STEAM projects. We decided that we would take our students who were idle during the testing time and actually have them working on these assignments to keep them occupied and to keep them motivated as they were going. Teachers welcomed the idea of keeping the testing environment structure and were allowed to bring their creativity to the table. Uh, so all the teachers came up with ideas about grade levels and tried to make it as fun as possible. Uh, when we introduced this to our teachers, uh, they really took the opportunity to plan this out and really ran with it. Um, we planned for months, so we got together on our prep periods and our planning periods and we got the kids into groups. We planned on what they would be doing in the group. We knew like down to the minute where each student would be and what they would be doing. They had a desire to make this testing time more efficient for themselves as well. Teachers decided to have students work on three different projects by grade levels, building land rovers, constructing bridges, and making lanterns. Sixth grade students worked on the sixth grade hallway, and instead of having students move, teachers moved from classroom to classroom. We are rotating to the kids, and uh, we're having them to work together as engineers. They're studying about budgeting, having to buy materials and plan. They're also uh, working on communication skills and and we're kind of comparing it to companies getting together and working for NASA. I think they learn from working together as a group. They enjoy the competition. I think they're learning and having fun at the same time. Sixth grade teachers plan for their students to design patches for the NASA team and create rovers. Sixth grade students were most looking forward to creating their rovers. I'm excited about building and uh, modeling our rover. The rover is something that they're going to be rolling down a ramp and dropping off the building to protect an egg. Seventh grade students were stationed in the gym working on their projects so that they would be away from the testing area. Administrators said that this structure allowed students to be more mobile and collaborate without disrupting the testing environment. The project's plan for seventh grade students' projects consisted of the students learning about bridges. Students did everything from constructing the replicas of the Great Wall of China to analyzing the lyrics of the song Bridge Over Troubled Water. And so our project specifically for the seventh grade is we're going to do an engineering um, project. So we're going to use the um, engineering process which is a lot like the scientific method, in order to create a bridge, destroy it, and then analyze w where it failed and how to make it better. Students had to create their own budgets to purchase the supplies for the construction of the bridges. One student's bridge held a grand total of 60 candy bars, outranking the other student's bridges by a long shot. And we tested their bridge by using candy bars and stacking the candy bars. So our project held 60, but we don't know how much the max was because it was basically like we didn't have enough candy bars to see how many it could hold. Students say these projects really pushed them to think beyond levels that they are used in their everyday life. We had to think about things we did from the past, like going back to preschool, like we just or do random stuff and see what's the consequence. The English portion of the project is we are critiquing the song um, Like a Bridge Over Troubled Water and we are using all of the figurative language that is um, expressed in Like a Bridge Over Troubled Water. The students will write an essay, a short essay, uh, about the figurative language Teachers say that one of the most important things about these projects is that they fostered real-world interaction among different groups of students. 
most of the groups because the kids uh, drew names for their group and um, most of the groups are composed of kids that have never even met before. We learned about the engineering process and the key ingredients of how to make a good group and team. Okay, we had them get a budget and then they had to go purchase materials in order to build a bridge. And that bridge was made from paper, paper clips, tape. Uh, we were given a set budget at $500 and materials were more than what you would find at the store. Tape was $99.99. Eighth grade teachers planned a unique lesson for students with the study very aspects of Chinese culture for their STEAM projects. We decided to um, do ancient China because it's something that they learn in history anyways. In English we decided to learn about the philosophers, the ancient Chinese philosophers, and then they decided they made their own philosophy and we did fortune cookies. Um, they learned about the Great Wall of China and they built a replica for it. They learned about um, the lanterns and how to design a lantern that would actually light and raise up and go over the wall. Well you get paper and then you cut it out into four half um, half shapes of the lantern and you glue it all together and then the final product will just be something it's like a bowl that you, and then you put metal um, metal wires that will hold the candle and douse some cotton balls and kerosene and burn it and it'll go up. So in our last class that I was in, we um, built bricks for the Great Wall and we had to make a lot of calculations for the lines and we had to fold them right on the lines or we have to start over. And it's really difficult because I'm not in advanced classes and an advanced teacher was like teaching us how to do that and he was like really picky. One part of the project required students to research famous Chinese symbols and dynasties and create Chinese lanterns. Students learned where the lanterns originated and how they were made and why they were used. They originated from Eastern China in the Han Dynasty. They are used at different festivals, funerals, and things to celebrate life and the way of China. Overall, teachers, students, and administrators agreed that the hard work, dedication, and planning paid off in the long run. Time that was normally spent sitting in a classroom waiting for testing to be over was filled with active learning, building, analyzing, and creative development. What a unique way to keep students busy during testing. I'm Emily Marchant reporting for Panther Talk. Back to you.